Hello and welcome back. Let's head on out and see what we can do today. Finally done with the homework, finally done with Nanako's homework also. So maybe we can actually go out and see people at night now. Anyways, let's head on over to the sh uh, central shopping district and see who's there. I'm betting Yukiko wants to hang out with us. Sorry about the interruption, let's head over and hang out with Yukiko. Oh! Indeed we will. Yes. Let's see what type of funky stuff we're going to get to today. Hmm. Well, you can actually come here again. I don't see why not. You're not coming back. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I think she could. Oh. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> oh gosh. That's terrible. Why does everyone like to tease all the girls in this game? It's okay. Mm. At least you're learning. Everyone likes you there. <laughs> well, you guys are like a family, that's probably why. Sorry about that. Rank up! Indeed, that'll come in handy when we start fusing off some more priestesses. That reminds me, I should probably go see... I think her name's... It's Margaret or is it Elizabeth in this one? I can't remember until I go see her. Gosh darn it. And that's the only person in the game's name I have trouble remembering. And it's the darn Velvet Room oh, Associate. Welcome home, big bro. You were servant, if you will. Anyways, thank you, Nanako. Ooh, we can hang over here. Oh, what can, can we go? Okay, no, we can't. So this is probably our best course of action. Well. Um, um, don't be like that. I need to be enthralling to go any higher? Gosh darn it, game. Gosh darn it. I thought we were high enough, but apparently not. I probably keep thinking I'm high enough, and I go to do it, and she's like, oh, crap. So what are the benefits of working? Again, sorry about the interruption. The cats like to do things. Anyways. <clears throat> well, I want the expression. And that was translation for expressions. Let's do that. Heck yeah! 4K for translating some papers! Oh, hey, Nanako! Oh, you finally came down! Um, I got a call from Dad! He said someone gave him a watermelon! <laughs> what? It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? <laughs> A freaking watermelon, really? Okay. That's just silly, though. 
a huge watermelon. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. <laughs> we won't. That probably did help. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. This is such an odd thing. Just, Dad got a huge watermelon. Everyone should come. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. <laughs> oh, Kanji. We gotta smack it open first. That is true. Huh, are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. <laughs> Chie, just a figure of speech. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? Oh no, he really wants to smash it. I want to do it too. No, we're supposed to eat it. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. Oh my gosh, we're gonna brutalize a watermelon. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. <laughs> what I just said to that is what the frig, Daddy. Makes no sense at all. And it sounds really bad, Yosuke. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. Oh my god, now he has a Nanago saying it. I'm home. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? <laughs> I love Doji. But... Whoa! Say what? Ah, well, you see. Oh, what now, Dojima? <laughs> oh, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Beach scene. Oh, I I might like that. Oh, does that mean we get to see you guys in swimsuits? Oh my gosh, Yosuke. As long as it doesn't get me pushed in a lake again or a river. Um, uh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Oh. Will you play with me next year, too? Oh. Of course we will. You betcha! I'm pretty sure we were told at the beginning of the game we only have one year here, though. You betcha! <laughs> Yukiko. Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep! Thank you! Oh, that was interesting. Well, now we have the night tour. Oh, no. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. I'm betting you he wants to ask me some questions. He probably feels just about as confused as I did at the beginning of Persona 3 Fast. Like, give me answers! You know, you really made some great friends. Yeah, yeah, I did. Such a peaceful day. It was lovely. Hurry to school, oh no, we're running late. Oh, it's Chie. Morning. Morning. Good 
morning. <sighs> Summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Of course you did. You can't even ride a bike without crashing into something either. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Yeah, we always want longer vacations. Good morning. Oh, it's Naoto. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. <laughs> Yosuke got told. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. Yeah. Naoto's not the only one that thinks that. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Oh. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. Well, that is the polite thing to do. I trust our relations will be cordial, Senpai. <laughs> okay, that was just a little odd at the end there. Senpai? That detective boys are underclassmen? I don't see a problem with it. I sense something coming on. Okay, got the guy over summer break. Oh, crap, I feel bad for Kondo. That is true. Can always come in handy. <laughs> Pop quiz. I'm a soccer person. Are you kidding me? This is just like random knowledge. And we're back, sorry about that. I still have no clue. This? Okay, <laughs> I honestly just guessed there. Well, trip is a week away. Oh, we got another one. That's right. Awesome. Darn it. I was hoping we'd get uh, the knowledge level up so we could do really good on the next test. It's just like, oh. Man, school's as dull as ever. And sorry with the interruption. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by June S later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Hmm, really? I guess we can. Oh, well, I just thought... Since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Oh, that's Yukiko. Being the nice person of the group. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. That is true. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Hello, Rize. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness. Because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. That is pretty true. Alright, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. Well, we're gonna be the band of misfits in no time. Oh, wait, we already are. That just, oh, wow, that just came to me. Scooby-Doo, that's what this game reminds me of for some reason. Just a group of teenagers trying to solve problems. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that, and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Well, let's go stalk this boy. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. 
I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Oh, shut down. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yeah, a bad one. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? <laughs> uh, well, we'll be going now. <laughs> Just Kyoji comes by, too. That was perfect. Hey, guys. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, now, Tokun, if you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Yeah. Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? Mm. I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well, that's that then. Let's hang out some other time. I second Chie's offer. I'm kind of interested now. Very interested. Hmm. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Eh, I don't know if that's for the worst or the best. I personally don't like girls hitting on me. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? Hell, I don't like anybody hitting on me. Anyways. He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. And we're back, sir, if you heard my cat. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, <laughs> Yosuke, please don't tease her. Hmm. Now Takun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. Well, if I'm not satisfied, I'm pretty sure as heck the ace detective isn't. That's true, but... What am I drinking? <laughs> what is that? I can't even read it from here. This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Oh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Oh yes, that'll be fun. Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. That's cool, an artificial island. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? It is? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. Why is that? I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. Oh, come on. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. Hmm. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. I see. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Mm, Kanji's right, but sometimes they're pretty awesome. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. Huh, that's terrible. Around. 
but we're in different years. That won't stop, Kanji. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Oh, that sucks. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Hmm, slightly, but it is a trip. Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King Morons. Yep, we're gonna have to respect his wishes then, even though I don't want to. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? He always kill you ass. No, King Moron! Oh my god, Teddy. <laughs> you don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Oh my gosh. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip's coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Hang out. Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. That's actually fairly truthful. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. It sounded cool, actually. Kanji is surprisingly deep. Yet it made absolutely no sense. Oh gosh. I feel like a hipster now. Sorry. <laughs> but you actually, actually have to admit that. A lot of us are just trying to find ways to kill time these days. It just... You're not working, you're killing time. That's how men is these days. We're not like the old days when we're all about survival. <laughs> Yukiko probably burst into a laughing fit as soon as we left. <laughs> so it's Yukiko, you know. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako. Anyways, that's the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like, maybe a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you yet to do so. Peace out and have a great day. <laughs>